I can't condemn ESN when I'm not sure who is doing what. This is according to Peter Obi. The presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, says he can't condemn the Eastern Security Network, ESN, because he's unsure of their activities. Speaking on Monday at the candidate's presidential town hall series, the former governor of Anambra State said agitations in part of the country is as a result of leadership failure. He said if elected president, his administration will adopt dialogue to address the issue. The first of our seven-point agenda is to ensure that the security of the lives and properties of Nigerians and to show our unity and one Nigeria by ensuring that there is equity, justice, and doing things following rule of law, he said. Everywhere in the country is full of agitation. It is the effect of leadership failure. There is nothing wrong with the agitation. You dialogue and discuss with everybody. I can't condemn ESM because I'm not sure who is doing what. You can only condemn people when there is a process in which uh, they have said this person has done something. Meanwhile, at an interactive session organized by Arewa Joint Committee in Kaduna in October, Obi had claimed the ESM was formed by governors in the Southeast, an assertion that um, many considered a gaffe or a mistake. I think he was trying to say a bubago. The setup of ESM was announced by Nnam De Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, in December 2020. On December 13, 2020, Kano announced the launch of the security outfit, adding that its primary responsibility is to protect the Southeast from terrorists and other criminal elements. Southeast youths plan to dump refuse at government house in retaliation for Soludo's attack on Obi. A Southeast youth group, coalition of Southeast youth leaders, COSEL, has uh, condemned the Anambra State Governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, for his attack on the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Mr. Peter Obi. COSEL, in a press release signed by its President General, Mr. Goodluck Ibem, said that Soludo, through his utterances on Obi, has denigrated the entire Igbo and must be made to pay for it. The group in the release said, Our members have met over the unfortunate and unguided statement by Soludo over Mr. Peter Obi and have decided to bring him back to his senses by declaring Friday, 25 November 2022, as a day where all Anambrillians will carry their refuse, debris, and dump them at the gate of the Anambra State Government House. This will serve as a deterrent to other Igbo political office holders who might want to insult the sensibility of the Igbo nation. The group, while analyzing the comment by Soludo Onobi, said it wants the entire world to know that Soludo's unguided statement against Pitobi is his personal opinion and not the opinion of his own family. His own biological son said Peter B is the best presidential candidate, which is contrary and directly opposite to his father's statement. Governor Soludo is standing alone on his attack against Peter B, and anyone who might have paid him for such a harsh job should go and collect his money back from him because his statement does not hold any water whatsoever. The father stated that dumping refuse in the house of anyone who committed sacrilege against his people is a traditional way of disciplining and teaching lessons to anyone found wanting in Igbo land. It added that the statement of Soludo and the audacity which, with which he spoke against Mr. Peter B. of the Labour Party presidential candidate uh, portrayed him as a man who felt that he is above God and Anambra people who elected him as governor. It is very unfortunate that Anam Brilliance elected a misfit with the title of a professor as a governor and the error has to be corrected immediately without mincing words. Soludo insulted the sensibility of Anambra state and the entire Igbo nation by his misguided statement against Peter B. Soludo just confirmed to the world that he lacks common sense Four years is too long to wait for a man who has no vision to lead the good people of Anambra State 
that have enough intelligent people, both home and abroad. It would be an insult on the Anambra to wait for four years to, for Soludo to complete his tenure, which was given to him by the people. The group called on the Anambra State House of Assembly to do the right thing by impeaching Governor Charles Soludo immediately, claiming Anambra is too blessed to have such a character as governor. Ban S governors from contesting National Assembly elections. NIDLSDG. The Director General of National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILDS, Professor Suleiman Abubakar, has called for the amendment of the Constitution to bar former governors from seeking elections into the National Assembly to avoid turning the Senate into a retirement home. He also called for an upward review of the educational qualification for National Assembly legislatures to an undergraduate degree. Abaka made the call in a paper titled High Turnover of Lawmakers, Impact and Way Forward, which he presented at the House of Representatives Press Corps week on Monday in Abuja, also blamed the high turnover in the National Assembly on governors who decide who to scale through primary elections. Another possible intervention to stem the high turnover is legislative action by the way of amendment to our constitution. This could be by prescribing more years for legislative tenure or stemming the incursion of the retired governors and other executive into eroding the independence of the legislature. The legislature is too important to be retirement home of governors and other executive bigwits. All efforts must be put in the place to change the trend he submitted.